In recent years, research into home building techniques, materials, and technology has led to substantial improvements in the energy efficiency of residential homes. Today, it is possible to build or refit a home that consumes 60% or even 90% less energy than a home from just a few decades ago. These improvements do not increase the cost by much. It is now actually possible to live in a warm, comfortable home that generates as much energy as it consumes and do it affordably. The intersection of research, collective experience, innovations in products and improved technology have brought us into an exciting era in home energy efficiency. We will examine some of these processes in detail. First, let us take a look at research currently conducted in Indiana. We are in a residential house that was built in the 1920s. We're using it as a living lab. Students live here, but are also conducting research in the house on novel technologies. That includes solar panels on the roof that also warm water. We have water tanks that collect the warm water that we use around the house. The roof has been updated to a metal roof so that we can collect water. It goes into the house through an elaborate purification system to basically make drinking water out of rainwater. We have installed LED lights everywhere and we have highly upgraded the insulation. We have uh, triple pane windows everywhere in the house. We're trying to reduce the amount of waste that is produced. We can quantify how much energy each of these improvements will, will save and then uh, what is the pay. higher house on DC voltage. We're using the house itself as a research facility. We equip the entire house with uh, measuring instrumentation just like we did the Renew house to do a energy base 100% unique across the USA. You will find at other universities houses that are research facilities. In all of those houses that I've seen, uh, occupation is simulated. But here, we have real people living in the house 24-7 and behaving like normal people, right? Which means not everything is on a schedule. Some of us happens arbitrarily. Here, we have the opportunity to uh, test equipment under real life conditions, which gives you a little bit different room of testing. That we can also look into reliability of equipment, long-term use, ease of use. We can bring in uh, a social uh, or personal or human aspect, a human perspective that is very difficult to duplicate in a laboratory environment. Alexa, turn the kitchen lights off. Saving the planet uh, a house at a time. This real-life observation helps researchers understand the needs better and devise useful solutions. We applaud the efforts of the Purdue University team, the Whirlpool Research team, and many others across the industry, seeking out new ways and innovations to improve building practices. The current collective state of experience and knowledge now means that zero energy homes can be achieved affordably. Solar energy offers both passive energy and electricity. By positioning the home in the path of the sun, high quality windows can bring in warmth into the home. The position of the windows can be placed strategically to capture the sun's rays and store warmth from the sun. Also, proper overhangs can shade the home from blazing summers. Renewable energy generation on site which includes solar photovoltaic and geothermal. Installing solar panels on the roof or at ground level can generate enough electricity to power homes today. We will explore each item in detail and demystify the process in creating an energy efficient, comfortable and warm home.